While the choir sings Ave Maria And I was singing With all my heart And I said a special prayer Up, up to heaven Can you return to me before I fall apart? While the choir sings, hallelujah, I was singing with all. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, que le Dieu de l'espérance vous donne en plénitude la paix de la foi et que le Seigneur soit toujours avec vous. Bon après-midi à tout le monde. Nous nous rassemblons aujourd'hui après-midi pour nous venir prier ensemble, pour nous venir présents avec la famille et pour nous venir rappeler Lucy. Tout ça qui a été pour nous, tout ça qui a été pour le Seigneur. Donc la croix il est déjà là et les bougies sont allumées. Nous pouvons attendre le premier chant, Oceans. And 
keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours and you are mine Your grace abounds in deepest waters Your sovereign hand will be my guide where feet may fail and fear surrounds me You've never failed and you won't start now So I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours and you are mine Oh, yeah A spirit Trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior Spirit Trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior And I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine Let us pray. Father, we entrust our sister Hazel to your mercy. You loved her greatly in this life. Now that she is freed from all its cares, give her happiness and peace forever. The old order has passed away. Welcome her into paradise, where there will be no more sorrow. No more weeping or pain, but only peace and joy with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We can now sit down to listen to the first reading. First reading, a reading from the book of wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for it before man 
indeed they be punished. Yet it is their full, their hopeful immortality. Shut eyes a little, shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold, as gold in the furnace, he proved them. And sacrificial offering, he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with him, his holy ones, and his care with him, his elected. This is the word of the Lord.
We can stand up for the gospel. We'll be singing, Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. O Lord. On one occasion, Jesus spoke thus, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, to you I offer praise for what you have hidden from the learned and the clever you have revealed to the nearest children. Father, it is true you have graciously willed it, so everything has been given over to me by my Father, by the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all of you who are weary, and find life, and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You can be seated as we'll now listen to the eulogies. So those who are going to read can now come forward. Dear family, friends, and acquaintances, today we gather to celebrate the life of our dearly beloved Hazel, who suddenly left us last Friday. From early childhood, Hazel was raised by her grandparents in Tudor, located in the old part of Mombasa. Her grandmother, a well-known midwife at the time, brought her up the old-fashioned way, as she used to say. And being Seishoa, she gave her granddaughter her first glimpse of the Seishoa language and culture. As a child, Hazel showed great aptitude for music, and she learned to play the mandolin and piano at an early age. She attended the Star of the Sea School in Mombasa, and it was during those times that she became acquainted with the small coastal town of Kilifi, which is a two-hour trip by car north of Mombasa. As her grandfather was employed by a local company there, Hazel got to spend many of her holidays in Kilifi, and in the later years, she even built her own house there, something which brought her a great sense of pride. And this was to be the beginning of many adventures with family and friends. It was later in her teenage years that Hazel went to live with her mother, Irene, and her stepfather, Manuel da Silva, while attended Rifkin's attending Rifkin's College, remaining active in many activities such as tennis and being a talented rock and roll dancer along with her brother Bruno. She also served as the Christmas choir master and was known, albeit begrudgingly, for her no-nonsense approach as she was always caught the mischievous ones, earning her the nickname Barnaby Jones after the famous detective. Her surviving siblings recount their long walks on Fumbine Beach reminiscing how she and Bruno would carry the younger ones, namely Silvana, Bernadette, and Yvonne, as they were too little to walk the whole distance. 
As a young woman, Hazel married Bernard Puchok Chuan, better known as Pops, who was also a founding member of the popular Vikings band. Together, they had five daughters, three of which are with us today. Of the many good memories we had in Kenya, I fondly remember my first experience holiday in, K in Kilifi, a place which can only be described as serenity personified. It was a beautiful slice of paradise that was nestled in a tranquil and picturesque village near the sea. Its lack of electricity or running water at the time was never issue, an issue for the hordes of friends and family that visited over the years. And those evenings around the barbecue, playing music with a Tusca beer in hand, were some of our best memories in Kenya. But life was not always free of calamities. With a great sense of faith and a firm belief in God, she had to contend with the tragic loss of her second daughter, Charmaine, in 1997, Monia in 2010, and by her husband, Bernard, in 2011. Despite the scars left by such losses, Hazel soldiered on, knowing that she played an important role as the fabric that kept the family structure together. This unshakable sense of faith and a warm hospital nature were among the many things I admired in Hazel. Anyone who knew her can attest that she was the life of the party and was always ready to extend a warm welcome to any stranger that turned up at her doorstep, including me. That was 20 years ago, by the way. Time went by fast. First landing on our shores in the mid-1990s, Hazel fell in love with Seychelles and eventually settled in 2000 with her youngest daughter, Crystal, and her husband. She worked as a preschool teacher for several years and developed a great sense of passion for her chosen vocation, only retiring when she felt a decline in health. From the wonderful moments spent on the terrace at Leopardland in Mbaraki, Mombasa, to perseverance, Hazel's unique personality, openness, and generosity showed, not forgetting her sense of humor and the way she would laugh in her own special way. She understood that life had its ups and downs and was determined in seeing the bright side of things. As it had been with her late husband, some of our best moments were the ones we spent, just the two of us, listening to the stories of life back in Kenya or a pertinent story that had made the headlines always brings a smile to my face. And these priceless moments are the ones I will treasure. Our relationship was never a perfect one. Then again, none are. But somehow, we, two people from completely different walks of life with views that often oppose each other, and we did oppose, but somehow we managed to form this unique bond that could be best described as mother and son, and Hazel was one of the few, few people which I felt free to be myself, as I felt no sense of judgment or distrust. Given her larger-than-life personality, it would be impossible to fully recount or truly captivate the essence that was Hazel. But I can only end by saying that I will miss you it will not be easy coming to terms with your absence, and life will not be as sweet without your physical presence. But you will forever live in our hearts, and we know and understand that your time came, and your next journey has just begun. From her good friends in Seychelles and Kenya, that include Monica Mary, Leila Khan, Hilal, Sylvia Delap, Tony and Rita Rusto, Patricia and Sheila Athanasius, Anne Barado, Lucy and Smokey Nair, Madhu and the late Frankie Cardo Villas, whom she had a great friendship with, as well as her remaining family members, Sonny, Benny, Silvana and Bernadette, as well as the late Bruno, Gigi and Yvonne. Farewell, my dear friend. I hope we will meet again someday. Thank you all for attending. Tribute to, 
tribute to Hazel from the, her sister Silvana and children. It is hard to accept the death of a loved one. We, we all wish we had the power to make death go away from the face of the earth forever and ever and never return. We wish to live on earth without losing anyone to dear, so dear to us. But sadly, death is inevitable. Hazel, Auntie Hazel, Amma, the names you hear in our household, so many special memories of you will always bring a smile to our faces. Your telephone conversations with mom will be no more. Losing you has caused a big void that words itself cannot express. Your laughter was infectious. Your spirit was full of life. While we make our trips to Kilifi, your memories linger, bringing a smile to our faces, but sadness that you will no longer be with us. Because you were part of those great memories. Shamba has never, has and never will be the same without you. Your, your love, will, your love for life can never be measured, an impact which ha will have not having around sadness saddens us. To all, to all those who knew, know that you fill their stomachs and you fill their hearts with joy. Your home was always open to all. We will miss you. All we can say is, that, is where our heart broken. But we take solace, solace in the fact that we knew you were in a better place. Rest in peace and keep, keep in check in on us every now and then. A tribute to Hazel from your in-laws written by her sister-in-law, Paulina Castana. Little did we know that morning on 11 of March 2022 that God was going to call your name. It broke our heart to lose you. Faith smiled upon us the day you became our sister-in-law. And from the beginning, we felt at home in your presence more because Hazel and I were in the same school and the same class at the Star of the Sea in Mombasa. I clearly remembered, remember Hazel used to call my brother Bernard Hedgehog because he had a spiky hairstyle. Little did, did she, show, she know she would marry him. As the years went by, God blessed them with five beautiful daughters, the late Monia and Charmaine, and left them with three daughters, Sasha, Giselle, and Crystal. Through all the years, we grew closer through the good and bad times. As we look back in time, we remember just how much we have shared together with the family and our late parents. Hazel and Bernard, worked so hard to bring up the girls in Mombasa and eventually managed to immigrate to the Seychelles. We are so grateful that we were blessed to have a sister-in-law like Hazel, whose warm thoughtfulness and sense of compassion are unmatched. Hazel was a loving wife, mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and a true friend. She gave her life wholeheartedly to her family. To her last day, her wish was to celebrate her birthday on the 10th of March, 2022, with her family, which, which she happily did. Dearest Hazel, in life we love you dearly, and in death we do the same. Your life is precious memories until, um, sorry, your life is precious memories until we meet again. May God rest her soul in eternal peace and let the perpetual light shine upon her. With love and blessing from your sisters, sisters-in-laws, brother-in-laws, and their families. A tribute from her grand 
daughter, Tracy, and her family. My Ama. I am the one who named her Ama, and I take full recognition for this. When I was born, Ama was 41 years old. Some people have their last child at 41. Lucky me, I've had her for so many years as a mother would be there for her children. I remember her feeding me her, meat, her meatballs and rice on her dining table in Kanjoni, rubbing my tummy when Auntie Crystal fed me leaves and flowers during a game of Mommy Mommy, and I was so sick. I used to watch her make her, her making her basket. Christmas was my favorite time with her. Cheese straws and cockles. She was the queen bee. Queen bee. Everyone w would travel from all over the country and world to visit her, and that, and that never changed. Most people know I spoke to Ama very often. Yes, I know everything about everyone, wink, wink. <laughs> but our phone conversation started when I was very young. I remember calling her when my first tooth was loose. Then again, when it was almost loose, and then again, when it, was, when it fell off. And not forgetting when I got 10 bob from the ferry, I had to call both my grandmothers. As I grew older, she moved away. We wrote letters to each other before WhatsApp. Looking at an old letter, I also wrote poetry for her. One of them said, goodbye, farewell, I love you as well. See you later when we meet, then we can, then we can come and meet. Growing up, we had our differences, ama drama, but through, but through it all, I knew she loved me, and maybe it's the fact that she loved us way too much that she felt all our hurt and pain and always tried to protect us. I was coming to see her, see her in July, and we were both planning everything that her great-grandkids, Raphael and Celine, would do. We were sure Celine would definitely look for Moana as soon as she arrived and Raphael would join Liam and his crew. But death comes like a thief. We never know when or how or why. The emptiness, I feel, is something one cannot simply explain. I always say my soul is made up of my mom, Charmaine, and my grandmother's. And today, as we speak, they are all gone. But one thing is for sure, heaven is real. I literally Googled that as soon as she died. I needed to be sure I'd see her again. Death doesn't seem so scary to me anymore because I know where they are waiting for me. I know they are waiting for me. Thank you, Ama. I love you more. A tribute from her niece, Colette, and family. My Auntie Hazel was so special. Anyone who met her or got to know her, irrespective of who it was, they came away with a beautiful impression of her. She wanted everyone who came into her life to do well, to succeed, to care, and be kind. The advice she gave was meaningful and precious. Being on the sharp side of her, tongue. Woo. I always asked her on where on earth she found that turn of phrase of words. While in the line of fire, believe me, I'd sweat bullets, but mostly I'd feel I'd disappoint her once again. But after the firing, the mistake would do not would not repeat it, be repeated. No way, we'd laughed about it. Boy, we la laugh. Boy, did we laugh. The jokes and the expressions of life itself would be hilarious. Cleaning the house, a constant bug of her. 
I learned how to clean a house by force. Auntie Hazel made me feel the world was my oyster. Without her guidance and love as we growing up, I don't know how where path where my path would have taken me. My Auntie Hazel Hazel, you were my matron of honor at my wedding and my best friend. There is nobody like you. I love you deeply. May you rest in peace. Amen. A tribute from her nephew, Carlo Andulio. It was great to speak to her recently. Always welcomed us in her home and was there when we needed advice. I will always remember the Mbaraki Terrace, her and uh, Uncle Bernard sitting and watching us play. A note from her granddaughters, Jasmine and Chloe. Are you okay? Are you okay? Well, we've been getting that question a lot, but most of the time we don't even understand why everyone keeps asking. I look at you all and I realize no one is okay. Not in this room, not in the past couple of days, and especially not today. From the many cups of tea made for her in a day to the morning she sat outside gazing at the sunrise and watching her bird tree tree perched on the table has given us little things us little things daily to remember her by. Everyone was a f ha was familiar with her favorite lunchtime episodes soap opera of the young ep the young and the restless which has which she never missed at all, and yet would get so worked up, and her favorite during was, man, that Victor. Her voice adapted to us just as a mother adapts to a child. As you all know, she touched everyone she met. She was my best friend. I remember, and calling her, I remember running and calling her every time I had a new book. She's in every one of us, grandchildren. Marcos's humor, Liam's gardening habits, Nikita's laughter, Declan's addiction to tea, Ar Ashton's argumentative touch, Tracy's compassion, Jasmine's dancing, and my passion for writing, and Justin's wittiness. Her talents, are our gifts, and I know every one of us has a part of her. I loved watching her as she came out in her crazy colorful dresses with matching earrings and other jewelry she wore. Other than her funny social expression came with her lovely dances and voice grooving to the oldies we play. I miss her jokes and her remarkable laughter. Not a day goes by, I don't think of her, but I know she's right here watching on all of us. We continue praying together. So as we take, listen to the hymn, Dancing in the Sky, we need two people to to pass the two baskets around for the collection. Vincent. Does it look like in heaven? 
Is it peaceful? Is it free like they say? Does the sun shine bright forever? Have your pain and your fears gone away? Cause here on earth it feels like everything good is missing since you left and here on earth everything's different there's an emptiness oh, oh, oh I, I hope you're dancing in the sky and I hope you're singing in the angels choir I hope the angels know what they have I bet it's so nice up in heaven since you arrived Tell me what do you do up in heaven are you days filled with love and light? Is there music? Is there art and invention? Tell me, are you happy more alive? Cause here on earth it feels like everything Good is missing since you left And here on earth everything's different There's an emptiness Oh, oh I hope you're dancing in the sky and I hope you're singing in the angels' choir And I hope the angels know what they have I'll bet it's so nice up in heaven since you arrived Since you arrived Oh since you arrived, yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 I hope you're dancing in the sky. And I hope you're singing in the angels' choir And I hope the angels know what they have I'll bet it's so nice up in heaven since you arrived Since you arrived We can now stand up together for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before we go our different ways, we shall say a final prayer for Hazel. We entrust her to God, who is mercy. 
with the hope that one day we will meet again. So we'll take a moment of silence. We pray together. We remember Hazel, all that she was for us and all that she was for the Lord. Precious Lord, linger near when my life is almost gone. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Precious Lord, take my hand lead me on let me stand i'm tired i'm weak i'm worn through the storm through the night lead me on to the light take my hand precious lord lead me home is all done and my race here is run let me see by the light thou hast shown that fair city so bright where the lord is the light take my hand precious lord lead me on precious lord Take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I'm weak, I'm worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Now we turn to the Blessed Virgin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. All together, 
this makes us one. Amen. By the mercy of God, may the soul of Hazel rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And we express our deepest sympathy to the members of the family. The final hymn. And those who are with the coffin.